Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my July favorites. I have a lot of stuff to show you this month, so I'm so excited. Let's just go ahead and just jump right in. So this first thing isn't just one shade or like one color, but it's a product. And these are the long lasting 16 hour blushes from Too Faced. Too Faced actually sent me these, which was so awesome and so nice of them. I'm really excited about it. Too Faced has no idea that I'm talking about them. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but I love these. They last so long. They say 16 hours. I've never worn them longer than like, I don't know, eight hours max. The one thing I don't like about these, it's like impossible to open the packaging. Let's not show you. It's a heart, which is super cute, but there's only like one little spot here where you can open it and like... I just, I don't get it. I don't know how I'm supposed to open these and I don't have like a nail. And even if I did, I wouldn't want to ruin my nail polish. So I just, sometimes I can get it right away and sometimes I can't. There we go. I finally got it. But these remind me a lot of the Tarte long lasting 12 hour blushes. This is like what the inside of them looks like. So very similar to the Tarte ones in my opinion, um, but super cute packaging. They're super, super thin and compact. So wherever you store them, they're not going to take up a lot of space. The ones that I've been using mainly this month are Baby Love and Love Hangover. The Baby Love is like more of a brown neutral and then Love Hangover is that like true pinky neutral color that can work for a lot of different looks. Next is this highlighter from Bobbi Brown and it's in the color Apricot. Now Apricot I'm pretty sure was a limited edition shade and I actually picked this up at the Aurora Outlet Mall but whoo it is so freaking pretty. It is like a peachy golden I don't apricot shade and it goes light to dark so you can use these as like a highlighter and then these all over your like blush area so gorgeous loving this and I just feel like it really intensifies the blush that I'm wearing and I actually love this paired with my next favorite this is a blush from Becca in the color wild honey it oh it's cracked so I feel like it's gonna like fall out of here this is the perfect blush for summer and for fall I just think it's so gorgeous. It's like a deep bronzy orange mandarin kind of shade. I don't even know how to explain it, but the Becca blushes are super, super pigmented. Honestly, you touch your brush in there once and you have all the color that you would possibly need for your cheek. Sticking on the highlighter train and the Becca train, of course I have to mention this. This is Champagne Pop. This is from Becca Cosmetics and they paired up with Jaclyn Hill to create this highlighter. I'm sure you know. I don't know why I'm even saying that because you know. It's the most beautiful highlighter I've ever tried in my entire life. Quickly, like within like three uses, I was like, yep, this is my favorite. That, that's just hands down, it's my favorite. It is a peachy golden undertone to it and it just works for all skin tones so beautiful it's so hard to explain it's one of those things that you just kind of have to try and see for yourself because I didn't understand how something that was a highlighter could work for everybody once I tried it out and once I've seen pictures of so many different people using it it's like yes it would work for everybody next I have a primer this is the Jouer anti blemish matte primer we got this in our ipsy bag when I was there a month or two ago and this is for oily skin but it's also for like acne prone skin my skin has thankfully been like clearing up lately thanks to me being good about washing my face and stuff but I've been getting a little bit more oily throughout the day so this has really helped my foundation to just stay on and not go anywhere even though my foundation is like super long wearing anyways this just ensures that I don't get like oily throughout the day so um I'm so happy though that I'm getting oily because I used to be so so dry and now I feel like my skin is just normal and it's not flaky and I'm not like greasy at the same time so this just helps so that I don't get like overly oily Oily and I just really like it. You guys are probably so sick of me talking about this next favorite, but this was in my favorites video last month and pretty much everything that was in my video last month is still a favorite now. I've been using everything constantly. I feel like my makeup tutorials are getting really annoying and repetitive because I'm using the same products, but I just love them. This is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. And the reason why I'm mentioning it again in this video is because I tried in my date night makeup tutorial, I tried the Dior Air Flash foundation, which was one of my favorite foundations ever. Like I would always go to that when I wanted that like 
airbrushed look to my skin. After I blended it into like half of my skin, I regretted it and I wished that I used this. This is hands down my favorite foundation. Over Chanel, over Giorgio Armani, over any foundation that I've ever tried, this is my favorite. So I just had to mention it again because after trying out that foundation, which was one of my favorite foundations, it just made me realize how amazing this really, really is. So I highly recommend it. I recommended it to a couple of friends that have tried it now and even they love it. I have not met one person that doesn't like this foundation. So I am in the color nude in case you're curious. When I'm more tan though, I have to put on like tons and tons of bronzer. But when I don't have a tan, it's like my perfect skin tone color. So Next is an eye cream. This is a little sample of it though. This is the Redefine eye cream from Rodan and Fields. My boyfriend's mom actually sells it. I was looking for a new eye cream because mine are running out and I just wanted something really intense for at night for like dark circles and wrinkles and anti-aging. I know that I'm not wrinkly yet but just something that will prevent it I guess. So this is just a sample of it, but with eye creams, a little tiny bit goes a very long way. And I just, oh, I love it. It makes my whole eye area so, so soft. I don't want to say that it looks radiant, but you can just tell that it's moisturized when you look at me and I have it on. So really been loving it and my... I haven't like reacted to it or anything. I have super, super sensitive and watery eyes. So I'll know right away if an eye cream doesn't work out for me because my eyes will be on fire. These next two products go hand in hand. This is the Life's a Beach Body Scrub from Lush. This literally is just loose sand in here. And I use this before I self tan myself. So I will rub it all over my skin. It's literally like you grabbed sand and rubbed it all over your body. But oh my gosh. When you rinse it off after scrubbing it, you can just feel your skin. It feels like milk. It's like so soft and silky. Loving this. And I just can tell that when I tan myself with my self tanner, that it just goes on so much better because this like exfoliated me to like the max. This is limited edition, unfortunately. Oh, it just smells so good. Um, but thankfully I don't use a ton of it. So hopefully this will last me a long time. And then hopefully they bring it back next year because this is bomb.com. So this next product goes hand in hand with the Life's a Beach body scrub. So in my last favorites video, I talked a lot about the Saint Tropez 2 Hour Express self tan and I still really love that stuff. That stuff is amazing when you're in a pinch and you need to get a bronzy color to your skin. The only thing about that that I just can't stand is the smell. It reeks so bad and it like it just lingers on you for days and doesn't go away. So I just went back to this and using this more frequently. This is the Million Dollar Tan Tan Icon Extreme. It's just like a spray and this smells amazing on your skin. It ends up kind of smelling a little not so good like towards the end of it once your tan is fully like developed but it doesn't like linger on you. Like with the Saint Tropez 2 Hour Express that like even after I wash my body and put on clothes those clothes still stink. It's like I have to shower like two or three times just to get the smell away. So it's just, uh, and my boyfriend always says that I smell like cereal. Like, like when I self tan, he's like, you smell like cereal. <laughs> no, I don't. That is self tan. That's not cereal. I don't understand. As long as I can like plan out my tan and like my life, this is perfect for that. So if you want to see a full in-depth how to self tan video or like how I self tan, let me know down below in the comment section because I would love to do that for you guys because I do have a couple of tips and tricks that have definitely helped me in my tanning days because there are definite things that I do that I used to not do and it would not look good. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see like a full in-depth video on how I personally self tan because I would love to do that for you guys. So let me know down below in the comment section. Next, I have this lipstick from Oiso. This is the Rouge Couture number 10. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most beautiful nude that I've ever tried. The only other YSL lipstick I have is this one and it's in number two. It's the Rouge Volupt ones and this one, oh my gosh, it tastes disgusting and has such a weird smell, which was just so unfortunate because you have to give up your firstborn to buy these lipsticks pretty much. And 
the color is really nice when I pair it with a lip liner, but I just am constantly thinking about the smell and the taste while I have this on my lips. So I heard so many great things about this one. And it gives the same similar feel on the lips, like that buttery, creamy, YSL lipstick kind of feeling. And it doesn't have that nasty, funky taste and smell. It's amazing. So if you're looking for a really good nude and you're similar to my coloring, definitely recommend this. It's number 10 in the Rouge Couture lipstick line. So amazing, 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 and amazing. Oh, and it is what I have on my lips right now in case you are curious. So I'm going to end with hair. Um, these two products I mentioned in my silver hair care video because they were fairly new and I wasn't able to really give you guys a review on the new products that I purchased, but now I can. So this is not new to me. This is a product that I've used for so long. I've used this for years, but for the last like six months I hadn't used it and my hair was pissed at me. So as soon as I started using again, my hair like was like, yes, thank you so much. Um, this is the Macadamia hair mask. They did, I think they reformulated it, but they definitely gave it a new packaging. And I've heard that you can get the old ones, like the old packaging at TJ Maxx. So definitely check that out because they're more expensive now, which sucks, but amazing stuff. I'm so glad I got this because my hair has been thanking me. Um, loving this all month long. Like I'm I will always use this. And then this is the Matrix So Silver Shampoo. This I couldn't really give you a review of it because I literally only used it like once or twice before my silver hair video. But I can tell you now that I love this stuff. This is amazing. This does not turn my hair purple and I have let it sit on my hair and it does not turn purple. It just takes out all the brassiness in my hair, takes out all the yellow, and just leaves me with a white silvery tone in my hair. So definitely recommend this to you guys that are blonde or that are silver or gray or whatever. I love the smell of it and it's just the bomb.com. All right, you guys, that's everything for my favorites for the month of July. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what your favorites were because I'm always so curious to see like what you guys are using because we're all like interested in beauty together. So yeah, I would love to check that out. So let me know down below. If you have any questions at all, check out my information section. I have everything in there that you could possibly need to know. If I don't answer your question there, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks again so much, you guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.